Grand Prairie remains under a do not use order for tap water after a foaming agent was found in the water last night. The city set up a water distribution center at Lone Star Park where hundreds of cars have lined up trying to get a case of bottled water. Bo Evans has been there all morning as well. Uh, Bo, what's the latest out there? Yeah, good morning, Ken. Uh, I just want to show you what's going on here. We have a ton of city employees that have been out here just as long as I have in the rain, and uh, many of them haven't had any rain gear. In fact, a lot of them just put those ponchos on that you've been seeing, but they've been distributing water to the cars that have been lined up here since 6.30 this morning. The city is trying to provide one case of water per car. It's been busy all morning. Cars line the entrance to Lone Star Park, and we're backed up about a mile down the road, down to I-30. Several hundred cars, maybe even a thousand from what I saw, were waiting several hours while city employees set up the makeshift distribution center in the rain. Like I said earlier, many without that proper rain gear. Um, but the residents that I spoke to who were able to get water were pretty understanding of the whole situation and thankful for the city's help. Just to get as much water as I can, and maybe uh, since I got a handicapped neighbor, if they could supply me with hers also. Other than that, I just have to take what I can get. Fortunately, we didn't ingest too much. We hope that we're <laughs> going to be okay. Uh, and, and then it was just like, okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to do what we need to do. So the city said last night they notified residents not to use water except to flush toilets after they found a foaming agent in the water supply. Not for drinking, not for uh, using, um, washing hands, bathing. This is for the residents north of I-20. We will continue this effort throughout today and uh, as long as it's needed to provide that safe water for our residents. So again, do not drink any tap water, don't cook with it, don't wash your hands, don't bathe, don't feed it to your pets. Do not, do not try and clean or sterilize it. Don't let it sit out. That is not going to help it at all. It is not to be consumed in any fashion. It is only to flush toilets. Now the city is asking residents to be patient, which I know can be tough. I've seen the long lines out there, um, but they're going to try and get this back to normal as soon as they can. And like they said, they will be providing water until they do. In Grand Prairie, Bo Evans, CBS News, Texas. Yeah, Bo, I think the highlight of the message there of the advice is the only thing you can do with this water, like you said, is flush your toilets. That's it. Bo Evans, thank you very much. Well, the water contamination also impacting businesses and restaurants across Grand Prairie. Some even had to shut their doors for the day. Close for business signs. Those are dotting the area. You're going to see it nearby Popeye's there. There's a Burger King that we saw. Even a Starbucks had to close their doors. Kemi's African Kitchen is also forced to halt their business today. The locally owned restaurant is located north of I-20, which is the area that city officials are saying contains that foaming agent that they're describing in the water. Their doors are closed now. Through The, uh, the owner, though, is uh, hoping to, that the issue will be resolved by 4 p.m. so that they can reopen for the dinner rush. Have a listen. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but we, ex we don't expect for it to last very long. Um, but the safety and the well-being of our guests is paramount. So the city, um, uh, the Grand Prairie ISD is closed today. Mm -hmm. That kind of tells us how important this is. Yeah, a lot of places haven't closed as a result. Some other spots that are having to shut down today, they include Prairie Lakes Golf Course, the Ruth Jackson Center, the Veterans Event Center, Dalworth Recreation Center, and that includes park restrooms and water fountains as well. As you heard, Grand Prairie ISD also closed today, too, as a result of it all, but the district has already announced that their regular schedule will resume tomorrow. There are a lot of questions about exactly what happened. How did a foaming agent get into the water? What is a foaming agent? We have reporters throughout the day and the I-team working on getting answers to all of those questions. We're going to start giving you those answers, what we have found in our research starting at 4 p.m.